So there's only one largest animal in the history of the planet that is alive today, and that is the blue whale. After an incredibly uh, tragic slaughter, it is very fair to say that today they live in global, uh, they live in remnant island populations here and there throughout the globe. And also, I always like to throw in that the world's largest animal that's ever lived has never harmed a human being. There's no known instance of a blue whale ever harming a person. Um, so after 20 years of field work on blue whales, I started a nonprofit called Great Whale Conservancy dedicated to helping the plight of the world's great whales with a special emphasis on my species, the blue whale. Um, I'm going to do a little intro on my work and then get into the, the uh, ship strike issue. Oh, no, it should be the arrow. I think the arrow. Uh, the down. Okay. okay. So the basis of uh, field, the field work I do under scientific research permit in the Sea of Cortez is photo identification of blue whales. Um, we do this mostly by the pigmentation that is unique to each individual on the side of their body. Um, so this animal will keep that pigmentation for the rest of its life. Baja's kind of pretty, so sometimes the photo leaves get real pretty. The mountains are quite beautiful. Next. We have lots of mothers and calves down there. I think uh, the part of the Sea of Cortez I'm in is one of the best places in the world to see mothers and young blue whale calves. And one of the things that you may not know is next picture is that the calves gain over 200 pounds a day from nursing the world's richest milk. And the moms often get quite thin. This is a lactating mom. Her calf is nearby. And uh, this past year, we saw some alarmingly thin blue whales. Next. Um, those pictures all get transferred to the various catalogs, the primary one for the Northeast Pacific blue whale population, which is the biggest known subpopulation in the world, is based in Olympia, Washington, Cascadia Research. A lot of collaboration, a lot of back and forth, and a lot of advisory from them to the ship strike issue. This is a picture of an individual from the actual catalog. John Callum Keatis' picture on top of mine on the bottom. Next. Okay, so we have an issue. Um, the Northeast Pacific blue whale population is not increasing. Um, we've had hours worth of discussions about why, and the, it just keeps coming back to ship strikes. Um, we believe that there are probably at least 10, maybe 20, and maybe even more than 20 ship strike deaths on blue whales for every body that's ever found. These animals are negatively buoyant. We don't get a lot of bodies. In 2007, there were four blue whales killed off the coast of California. You can do the math. It's a serious threat to them. So we have recently collaborated with the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, the now in the waters off California, filming and taking pictures of blue whales in the shipping lanes near ships. This is all from about six weeks ago. Next. Um, the problem is, uh, you know, in five minutes I can't go over everything, but in the feeding grounds, when these massive animals are feeding, they seem to be incredibly focused on the act of feeding. And I can tell you that when they're feeding, they really don't pay attention to anything else, including cargo ships. Next. We had some incredible feeding displays in the shipping lanes. These last two pictures I took six weeks ago inside of the shipping lanes off California. Next. Okay, let's get into the problem a little bit. Um, this is the Channel Islands. This is where we really want to have a change. Oh my God, I gotta go quick. We want the whales on the other side of the Channel Islands. The red is the thickest concentration of whales. After 12 years, they shifted the shipping lanes one mile to away from that red area. Not enough. Next. Um, just a picture to illustrate that yes, they feed in the shipping lanes. Next. Yeah, I got it right. Um, a suction cup D tag that illustrates that the real problem is at night. Because in the daytime, the whales go down. At night, they're near the surface all night. Okay, but I gotta hurt because I don't have any time, but I do need to see this last picture. So this beautiful picture represents the problem time of the day for blue whales. When light goes low, they sit in the surface. So all day. in 2009, I took this picture of blue whale to see a Cortez. Um, but I'm a photo ID guy, so I also took a really good photo ID of the right side and the fluke of this blue whale, put it into the catalog, 
in Cascadia told them it was super important, and we got a match. And we got a match to a blue whale that in 2005, off the coast of California, had been satellite tag with a deep tissue tag by a lefty. The, there is a lefty. Lefties like to tag on the left side of whales. Satellite tags are very expensive, and it's much more, it's much safer for them to tag on the left side. We know that this whale was tagged on the left side. We know that that bulge is what's caused by the tag. I have seen over 20 pictures of blue whales that were satellite tagged, deep tissue with bulges that make this one look like nothing. And I'm not even going to get, this is an extremely serious issue. And to bring it a little closer to home, in New England, with the North Atlantic right whale, there have been massive problems with tagging, which has been off the table for a decade. There hasn't been a right whale satellite tag here for a decade, and there isn't one well-known biologist in New England that's probably ever going to let any of their right whales be satellite tagged again. There's a lot more to this. It's, a, it's an issue that's within the scientific community, and due diligence has not been done. And for those of you going to New Zealand, and then I'm going to end, there's going to be a forum, I believe the day before the conference starts, that I had a lot to do with the fact that that forum is even going to happen. And I'm not going to be there, but a full report is going to come my way. And the forum is about deep tissue, satellite tagging in general, what needs to be done about it, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you.